everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey everybody. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, we're here to do some more of my calendar Rolodex cards. I've got three more days here. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through this process. I got some scraps here, an envelope, um, just odd and end scraps. Uh, I'm going to cut these circles out. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward. I hope you guys enjoy.
everybody, Cindy Utter here. Guess what time it is? It's Rolodex card time. Um, I have a bunch of stuff laying here on my desk. Like odds and ends. Like this kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use this kind of stuff up. I don't know where I come up with all this crap on my desk. Ah, it's crazy. Anyways, we're going to use up this stuff, so let's get started. I'm going to use some... Do I want to use Modge? Yeah, let's use Modge. Why not? Got my palette out here of a different project I was working on. Actually, let me see if I have any paint left on it. Here's my palette. Mm, not really. It's pretty well dry. Alright, so we're going to take our Modge... I like this plastic. This plastic's kind of cool. So let's mod her down. Let's throw down some plastic. And got a little bit of this napkin left over from a project I was working on. Um, this napkin is from Jane Davenport. So if you get a chance to get to a Michaels and check out her supplies. All right, I'm not getting it apart, so we're just gonna put it on. And we're just gonna put it right on here. Just a lack of that. And then we're gonna take an old pair of scissors and cut this up. Reason being is because it has glue on it. And I already messed up my uh, Mayped Helix scissors by getting glue on them, so I gotta clean them up. But we have our calendar days. Um, today says, Blessed is this day. And boy, that's so true. Look outside here where I'm at in central New York. The sun is shining. Can you believe it? Yeah, we don't get a lot of sunshine. So when it does shine around here, everybody's worried. <laughs> What's coming? What's wrong? Um, they say that this area is one of the, I don't want to say gloomiest, but... We don't get as very many days of sunshine, which is awful because I love sunshine. I'm talking about in the winter. The winter, it's usually overcast and dreary and nasty looking out there. But in summertime, we have nice summers sometimes. All right, so there's the back thing of one. Let's see what we've got here. Yeah, believe that something wonderful is about to happen. Best friends bring out the best in you. Got some hearts here. I'm gonna take one of these hearts. This one says, begin each day with a grateful heart. I'm going to cut that off. I'm just going to take one of these hearts here. And again, I'm just making these just to make them, to have fun. Okay, we're going to put some matte medium there. We're going to stick that heart down right there. That's cute, huh? And then, I don't know if I want that. I think I just want to have this Believe on here. And I think I'm actually going to take the other heart, this one. What, you know, what my intention is for this uh, Rolodex series is to work the entire year on it and um, make these all out of the calendar and, you know, possibly some scraps I have left over on my desk. So that's my goal. We'll see how it works. Okay. And then I just want to put Believe right here. And then... Once this all dries, we can play around with some other pens and pencils on it. So let me grab a paper towel. Just wipe this up. All right, so let's let that one dry. Let's set it aside for a few minutes, and let's grab another one. I know I had more out here. Right here. You know, I still have this napkin here. Um, 
Okay, I'm gonna use it because I don't wanna I don't wanna waste it. That wouldn't be any fun, would it? So let's just use it. Why not? Right? Oops. So I gotta fit on top of each other. Ooh, let's get some wrinkles in it. That works too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, this I gotta dry real quick so I can cut it up, cut around it. And I'll do the same thing with that one. Just to get it. Just to get them clean, dried up a little bit. Alright. Had to go to the eye doctor yesterday. And I got yelled at. I work, I've worn glasses since I was like three. Um, so when I got into contacts, you know, that was just fantastic. Well, <clears throat> many, many, many years ago, it has to be over 20 years ago, um, the contacts companies came out with something called Night and Day. And the way they advertise them is you, you know, put them in, leave them for 30 days, you can sleep in them, all that kind of stuff. Well, I was actually asked by my eye doctor at the time if I wanted to do a trial on them. And I said, sure. So I did a trial and basically I had to go in once a week and they had to measure all the stuff in my eyes and, you know, see how they were fitting and how dry my eyes were and if there were any issues. And, you know, I had to fill out this questionnaire every time I went in. But it was cool. I got a free pair of contacts out of it. So anyways... Um, so I ended up doing this trial for these night and day contact lenses, and I absolutely loved them. That's the only thing I've worn since. Well, I'm probably like every other contact wearer. Um, you, <laughs> you wear them as long as you can, because they're expensive. I'm sorry, they are. They're very expensive. So... Yeah, I wear mine as long as I can, and, well, apparently I haven't been changing them enough because now something about the, um, how did she say it, the blood vessels maybe? One of them is they're growing out into the whites of my eyes now, I guess, and so I have to, she wants me to take out my contacts and leave them out for a month at least. Yeah, well, they're out right now. I am wearing my glasses, which I just, I'm not a fan of. Um, and I have to wait. I'm going to wait a, about a week or so, and then I have to put them back on because I'm going to be doing some traveling, and I, I just, I can't. And then when I get back home, I'll take them back off and uh, let, my e let my eyes rest and my whatever's grow back to where they're supposed to grow, so... But I told her, I said, you're going to yell at me, aren't you? And she's like, I'm not going to yell. I'm going to politely suggest. And she politely suggested <laughs> that. I'm going to cover that blue. Let's put that right there. Why not? Because we can. Let's put this one. Do, 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 do. So anyways, it was a good trip to the eye doctor. And you know how they have to do all those, the looting of your eyes and all that crap. So they did all that. And then I wanted to drive over to Ithaca, which is about 30 miles from me. Because I wanted um, to check out the Jane Davenport stuff at Michael's. And that's the closest one. So here I am driving over there with eyeballs the size of saucers. But it was all worth it. I got there safe and sound. And I got what I needed or what I thought I needed. And... Have a good day. So yesterday was a good one. As I'm doing this, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> I'm not thinking. I am just putting stuff down. Um, I'm not thinking about the composition. I'm not thinking. I'm just 
playing with it and sticking stuff down. So uh, when you do your art, you know, this is basically for the beginners. Um, don't look for perfection. It, it's not going to happen. Just enjoy the process. Enjoy having fun. I'm having fun playing around with my scissors and my glue and getting my hands dirty and chatting while I'm doing it. That's all I'm doing. I'm just having fun. I'm not looking for a certain outcome. You know, if it turns out really cute, awesome. If it turns out eh, awesome. If it turns out ugh, awesome. <laughs> That's just the way art is. Sometimes you just just have to go with it so that's what I'm doing now these um, if you watch me before you know I'll usually use a, a black stamp around the outside of these well I can't do that until this stuff is dry so that will be done uh, come on before I stick them in the box that they're gonna be stored in and I'll do so of course I'll do some pen work I'm gonna sticky see isn't that cute all right, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about the interruption, but that's it was my hubs. All right, so what I did is I got out this ink pad. Um, I dried these up a little bit with a um, ba -ba -ba, my heat gun. I had to think. So what I'm going to do, this one's not quite all the way down. Get back here. Come on. There we go. Make sure my edges are glued down. Um, so I just took the ink and went around the outside of it. And let's work on this one. I have a couple more. Let's see what we've got here. This is this is the what I have left of the scraps on my desk. Is right here. I don't have any more. So we're gonna work with what we got, right? Let's work with what we got. It was my hubby that called and uh, he found out one of the guys that used to work for me um, at the company where I was he ended up getting a forced transfer to a different area and I don't think he's very happy about it so just keep me up on what's going on but he also said that he found one of my old business cards which I thought was kind of funny he says I found your old contact business card But so we're just I'm just, like I said I'm just playing with these I'm not really thinking about it I'm just kind of covering up this Rolodex card just covering it up this actually came from um, the mail for uh, think Cindy think I can't even think today what is up with me um, wow I've lost it Large Marge. Woo. It came in the mail as a um, piece of happy mail to put into Large Marge. Boy, I just have to think. I'll put you right there. And like I said, all I'm doing right now is just kind of covering up this Rolodex card. I really don't care what it looks like. I'm just covering it up. And it just makes for an interesting background. You don't, you know, don't worry about it. Put it down. See what it what it looks like. Now I am going to dry it so that I can cut around it. So let me do that now. I'm just going to take the heat gun to it. There's a little piece of plastic we can put on there. cuts off now. Pretty good.
Okay, we're just going to cut, cut. Do, 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 do. Remember what I told you when I'm singing, I'm happy. All right. So see, even though I didn't really think about it, that's just kind of a cool background, right? Looks kind of neat. Ah, this stuff's gonna go in the trash. Out of my way. All right. So let's see what we've got left over here for this stuff. I might use that. Let's let's throw that on there just because we can. Sometimes I'll use a number. Sometimes I won't. Depends. So let's just throw it on there. Put it right there. Good place for it. Number nine. All right, these are garbage. Uh, let's see. I think we're gonna take this flower. We're just gonna put that flower right there. Hard to keep that sneeze. That right there. Oops. Stay there. Stay there, my friend. Stay there. Alright, what else are we going to put on here? Um, we are going to put something wonderful. Do, do, do. I think my Pandora stopped. It's saying, are you still listening? It's no fun playing to an empty room. It's very, very quiet in here. Very, very, even my pellet stove is, well, it's running, but it's quiet. Come on. Something wonderful. Oops, stay there. Oh, stay there. All right, let me dry this up. First, I'm going to do my edges. My edges. And again, this is just a dollar bin um, stamp pad from Studio G. And we're going to dry that up. And then we're going to probably get out the Stabilo and do some darkening and shading. And we'll be right back. Outside a pub, you know, on a Saturday night. A 
on the evening of Thursday the 2nd of June 1994, violence came to Orkney in an almost unthinkable fashion. It's 7 o'clock here. At that time of the year in June, it was sunny, blue sky. It was a very funny evening, they were saying Orkney. Inside the island's only Indian restaurant, in Orkney's main town, Kirkwood, diners had just settled down to an early evening meal. There were several families with young children. Suddenly the door burst open. Somebody walked in with a long stride, yeah, and had a glass and had a gun. He walked up to a table. The waiter was serving them and he came in, gun to the head. The victim was 27-year-old Shamsuddin Mahmood, known as Shamal a Bangladeshi, and one only a handful of Asians living in Orkney. Fired from less than a foot away, the bullet entered his left eye, passed right through his head, and lodged in the restaurant wall. He died almost instantly. It happened so quickly, I don't think anybody had a clue, even, even after it happened, what actually had happened. There'd been no murder in Orkney for 25 years. Let alone what looks like a cold-blooded professional execution. Solving this crime fell to one of Britain's smallest police forces, the Northern Constabulary, who cover a vast area of the Highlands and Islands from their headquarters in Inverness. The primary evidence starts seeing was the bullet itself, which was embedded in, in the wall behind Mr. Mahmood, and also the bullet casing that had fallen from the gun that had fired the bullet. This single bullet casing was the best lead police had. David Dyson is a lawyer and firearms expert who's testified in many murder trials. The fact that there's a cartridge case at the location indicates immediately the use of a self-loading pistol, something of this kind. The cartridge case is ejected from this kit. An ejector mechanism pulls the empty cartridge case from the chamber and throws it out of the side of the pistol. If we consider a revolver, the cartridges are loaded into the revolver cylinder. And when the gun's fired, each cartridge is retained within the cylinder. So when the gunman leaves the scene, he takes not only the gun, but he takes the fired cartridges with him. Do you need my help at all? You want me to stay out of the way? Yep. Okay. Bye, Avenue. <laughs> Else. Another way to hang up my thing. 
You are. And it's indicated that the drone of ammunition has been made in the Kaki Arsenal in India. The Indian made bullet was one of a huge consignment of 54 million purchased by the British Army more than 20 years earlier, in 1972. But there was something highly unusual about this particular batch. Why are you getting a bigger board? Huh? Why do you want a bigger board? So I can have more room to put stuff on. Most of the massive consignment had been rejected by the army. Tens of millions of bullets were simply dumped to the sea. It'll actually give me more space too to create on the front of it. I can push stuff back out of the way. Perfect. The assassin had left behind this single clue. But would it be enough to reveal the face behind the mask? In the Clifton, shot dead a restaurant waiter, the first murder here for 25 years. enjoyed that video as always hit like share comment I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions um, and as always be kind have fun that's what life's all about and happy creating we'll talk to you soon bye